Welcome to the Iowa Water Quality Information System. This video will introduce the Iowa Water Quality Information System, or IQIS, and its various functions. To reach IQIS, visit iquis.iowawis.org. The Iowa Water Quality Information System is a web-based tool that offers access to real-time water quality information, including nutrient data, flow rates, and water temperatures for Iowa's streams and rivers. At the launch page, you'll find a link to IQIS's Water Quality Sensors tool. The Water Quality Sensors tool displays a map of all the water quality sensors currently set up at sites across the state. This includes sensors set up by IAHR as well as the USGS. These maps allow you to check various water quality conditions in your area. Click on one of the sensors and the map will show the watershed for that particular sensor. In the upper left corner of the screen, users can see information about levels of nitrate, dissolved oxygen, and pH, as well as water temperatures for a particular site. By clicking on the More Data tab, you can see daily measures of select variables for that site over the past two weeks. Click on the pull-down menu under Variables to analyze data for the different conditions being measured. By clicking on the Annual tab, you can see the variation of different water quality conditions from year to year. Another way to access water quality information on IQIS is by clicking the shortcut on the launch page called WQ Conditions. This will take you directly to a map of all the sensors in Iowa with data for nitrate levels. Click on any of the items under the Iowa Water Quality IS tab to see more parameters for water quality data. IQIS measures six different conditions, nitrate levels, water temperature, pH levels, dissolved oxygen, specific conductance, and turbidity. IQIS includes descriptions for each of these terms in the upper right corner of the screen. Let's look at nitrate in more detail. By clicking on the More Data tab, you'll be able to see data for different variables. Nitrate and nitrite graphs display the amount of nitrate or nitrite in milligrams per liter of water. Nitrate and nitrite enter waterways from soil and fertilizer runoff from farm fields, as well as from wastewater discharge and leakage from septic tanks. Discharge refers to how much water is flowing through a particular point in cubic feet per second. Load displays the total amount of a pollutant carried in the water at a specific point over a certain period of time. A large watershed will produce a larger pollutant load than a smaller watershed. The yield is the load per acre of a pollutant being released from a watershed area. IQIS reports this number in pounds per watershed acre. This is a good way to compare pollutant loss between watersheds, even if they vary in size. You can see current load and yield data and also compare load and yield data from year to year by clicking on the Annual tab. By clicking on Sensor Summary Tables under the Data Resources tab, you'll see a table with data for all of the sensors. You can reorder the table by selecting the top of the column of the variable you want to examine. At the launch page, you'll also find a shortcut to IQIS's Stream Sensors function. This will lead you to a map of Iowa overlaid with buttons representing stream gauges placed by the Iowa Flood Center and the U.S. Geological Survey. These stream gauges monitor water levels in real time. Click on one of them to view more information about a specific stream or river. 
to see information about your area, use one of the menu options under the Community View tab. Here you can type in a specific city, river, gauge, or a place of interest. This will take you to a map of your location and its surrounding watershed. To see how many stream gauges are in your watershed, click Stream Gauges under the Data Resources menu. To see the water quality sensors in your watershed, click Water Quality Sensors under the Iowa Water Quality IS menu. You can toggle these map layers on and off by clicking them. You can also track rainfall in your watershed or around the state. Use the Weather Conditions tab to observe current rainfall, daily rainfall, cumulative rainfall, daily snowmelt, and forecasted conditions. iQuist includes a tool for sharing the useful information you've found with others. In the Info Panels tab, click Take Snapshot. iQuist will create a snapshot link, which you can share with others by copying and pasting or through social media. This will allow you to collaborate with others by letting them see exactly what you're seeing. At the launch page, you'll also find additional features and information that can help you better utilize the Iowa Water Quality Information System. Tools and Features provides a visual explanation of IQUIS functions. And Help and Tutorials will take you to a useful Frequently Asked Questions page. You can also request additional data using the form on the Data Request page. Last, please feel free to contact us with questions or suggestions for how to improve the system by clicking on the Contact Us tab. We hope this introductory video provides you with a basic understanding of the many features and tools available in the Iowa Water Quality Information System. For more information, visit iihr.uiowa.edu.